very good afternoon, Mr. President, Presidents of Ghana, Niger Republic, Senegal, Togo, Chad, the Vice President elect, the Distinguished Senate President, the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, and may I please crave the indulgence of all of us to, to recognize all and with all utmost respect. Uh, the temptation is to walk away and say thank you after here listening to Alaji Dangote and also after listening to this video. But it is impossible to, to walk away because the commissioning today of this refinery is a defining moment for the energy industry in Nigeria, for the region, and on the international scale. It carries the potential to support security of supply for refined petroleum products and petrochemicals in Nigeria and the region as clearly articul articulated by Alaji Aliko Dangote. It opens the possibility of genuine commercial market and step forward in our collective efforts to make in Nigeria a net exporter of petroleum products to the international markets. This, no doubt, offers opportunity for efficiencies, better value, and improved governance as healthy competition always offsets market monopoly. The benefits will be real, and tangible for consumers, as well as the economy and the country more generally. This remarkable achievement by this very extraordinary visionary is not taking place in a vacuum. This extraordinary facility that we see here today is not standing on a reinforced concrete and steel platforms only, but also on the enabling business environment that the government of our country continue to provide, and we are most grateful for this. The reforms that, have take, that, have, that we have undertaken in the Nigeria's petroleum industry, under the informed leadership of President Muhammad Buhari, were built around a clear set of principles that anticipate the tremendous changes that will take place in the international energy market in the decades to come. As always intended, we are committed to continue to add value here at home from the extractive industries in order to maximize benefits and value to all Nigerians. The NMPC Limited will continue to support investment in domestic refining to satisfy growing demands for refined petroleum products in both local and regional markets, as against simply exporting unprocessed crude to diminishing markets overseas. The external shocks in recent years from COVID-19 and the conflict in Europe are tangible reminders that energy is not just a business, but a vital component of national security. Reliable access to fairly priced energy is the key to domestic economic growth, job creation, sustained democracy, and a stable international order. As the world transits to cleaner sources of energy on account of climate change concerns, many developing countries across Africa and Asia are left to contend with energy poverty while managing the impact of climate change. Nigeria, Africa as a whole, produces a small amount of carbon emissions, but we profoundly suffer the consequences of the gathering climate emergency, flooding and drought, sometimes simultaneously. Tensions over land use, and the list is very long. And that's why the Dangote refinery, with the new deal that we have been building, supported by the Enabling Petroleum Act, will surely provide domestic security of supply in our country. There's no doubt about it. However, the lingering challenge of petroleum motor spirit subsidies is clearly getting out of the capacity of the state to bear, and the differentials that domestic refining will provide is insignificant and cannot compensate for the subsidies. And may I use this opportunity to say that, you know, it's very, very difficult to continue to bear subsidy bills in the excess of 400 billion naira every month. We are harnessing our resources to meet our own needs. The NMPC Limited equity holding in the gigantic asset is strategic as a, as a supplier of last resort to the Nigerian market. We will continue to work with investors to develop hydrocarbon assets using the most modern and innovative technologies to realize the potentials of our resources and power the transition towards clean energy in the decades ahead. 
the scale of the ambition of the Dangote refinery is plain to, to see. The vision behind it and the optimism it generates for a better future is even more exciting. We should all be proud to be part of this historic education, especially you, Mr. President. Thank you very much.